In this video, I'm going to share with you our essentials for full-time winter RV living. And we're starting right now. What's up YouTube? I hope all is well in your world. My name is Aaron with Three Tails RV. Before we get started today, I would like to set a goal for 100 likes and I would appreciate your help with achieving this goal. Also, if this is your first time here and you want to see more RV related tips, tricks, DIY projects, and other RV related stuff, then hit the subscribe button right now because we want to help you do just that. With that out of the way, let's get on with today's topic. Unfortunately, not all of RVs are designed to be used during the winter months. And as full-time users, we face many additional challenges when dealing with them. Luckily, there are plenty of things that we can do to make our RV more winter friendly. The first thing that we need to do is to keep the cold air out and the warm air in. Unfortunately, most RV windows are single pane and do not provide much of a seal from the cold outside. The simplest and easiest solution that we have found is to use a shrink film kit on the inside of your RV window. These can be purchased at any big box store for around $10. This clear film can be custom fit to any size window. It attaches to the inside of the window frame with double sided sticky tape. And finally, when the heat is applied from a hair dryer, the plastic then shrinks, creating an airtight seal around the window. This will only slightly improve the R factor of the window, but it will drastically reduce those annoying cold drafts. After winter is over, you simply just peel it off and throw it away. Now that we have our windows covered, our next step is to do something about those air vents. When warm air rises, it will escape via these openings. There are many different ways that you can achieve this. You can use the shrink rack film that we use on our windows, silver insulation held in place with Velcro, or you can purchase a pillow that are designed to fit snugly into the vent opening. Now finally, we need to seal all the other places where our cold air can enter our RV. Under the RV, there are many openings where electricity, gas, and water lines enter the RV. These openings need to be sealed. You can seal these aerosol with aerosol-based self-expanding foam or foam rubber. Finally, the entry door needs to be checked to make sure that it seals properly. Adding some inexpensive weather stripping will help you to seal any air leaks. If you enjoyed this video and you haven't yet done so remember to give us a thumbs up and if this and if you have not already subscribed you can click on the round icon to subscribe to this channel you can also click on the square icon and head over to three tails rv where you can find more other rv related projects and other related topics and if you do not see anything that interests you then you can go ahead and click one of the videos on the side Lori and i would like to thank you for watching live simple live free and enjoy the ride and we'll see you next time with another rv essential living for the winter months. Until then, we'll see you later.